hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am in a green top. It's actually a dress but you can only see it in as a top and uh, yeah it's like a first for me. I think I'm going to wear in green. So yeah, I, that was not what this was all about. I am doing a monochromatic look and I am doing a red look and I was like green and red goes perfect together so I put on a green green clothes and red on my eyes and of course red on my lips so yeah I have picked out five palettes I don't know if I'm going to use them all but yeah I'm doing a monochromatic red look because I love red and oh my little moon it has been a lot of blue and green looks on my channel the latest so I was like I want to go back to the color I love one of the colors I love the most and that is red so I'm just going to start doing my makeup and I see what I'm talking about and I got some staining on my eye not so much on this eye but on this eye and yes it's from a green and a blue makeup so I'm just going to zoom in and we get started with this monochromatic monochromatic red look. Okay, so I will start with the Certify Tropical Wonders palette and I want to take this one, the Red Sea, and put it in my whole crease. I think I am going to be able to do like a whole... Okay, was this brush even clean? I think I'm going to be able to do like a complete red look. Maybe I don't have a highlighter that is with a red undertone. Is there even any highlighters with a red undertone? I have no idea. But other than that, I think I'm going to succeed. Okay, I don't have a red mascara, but if you saw my... I did a nine way collab with Eevee Evolutions and I got Flareon and then I actually did use a red lipstick from Jeffree Star as my mascara but I don't know how. It was a cool effect but it wasn't as red as I wanted it to be and yes something was on my brush when I used when I did that I but okay always be sure when I'm using two completely different colors that my brushes are clean because now this looks weird so I like have to do take the dirty brush on this eye as well but it's not going to look the same okay so I think this is going to be a pretty easy look because it's only red and then I I was thinking about taking this red from the Vivid Pigments. It's called Sauce from Color Brain. And this is a really dark red. And I want to put it out here. And I didn't want to take like an orange red and like a true red and a yellow red. I want this to be like only red so yeah this is maybe not going to be so much different between the different eyeshadows because red is always red and it feels like some people are afraid of using red eyeshadow because you maybe look a little bit like a zombie or just like you are infected or something but you know what I don't give a damn. I usually don't use this as much anymore. The vivid brights, vivid pigments, I never know what they are called, but they are really, really good. Just so you know. And this is going to be the like shortest makeup video ever. Okay, and then I am taking the flare palette from Ace Beauty and I am going to use saffron and this is maybe a little bit orange but i thought when i swatched it 
it was red. But maybe it is a little bit orange. And I just said that I am not going to use any other than red red. But I think we can consider this as red. I hope you agree with me. I don't know why I haven't thought about this before. Me and Betty Jean, we did a collab where we chosen. I chose a color for her and she a color for me. Monochromatic. And that is like the only monochromatic look I have ever done. And I don't know why, because this is fun. So, for something a little extra than just a matte look, I want to go in with some shimmer. And I don't know if I want to take this one from Linda Holberg Metal Mystery 2 or if I want to go into the Kaleidos Cyber Bronze and take this one. I think we have to swatch them. The thing with the Cyber Bronze is it's amazing. I love that shade so much. I also love the one from Linda Holberg but that is more like yeah, it's so much deeper. I think I want to go in with this from the Cyber Bronze from Kaleidos. I don't know if I want to put this all over my lid or just on the outside. I think on the outer half is better. So I'm putting it over the sauce shade from Color Drain. If it will stick over. Okay, they are pretty light, so it doesn't feel like it's popping that much that I wanted to. I don't even know if you can see it. I can see it, but I don't know if you can. So I will try to pack on a lot and then take a little out on the saffron shade and I thought that I was I I wanted to do something like pop in, in my inner corner but I don't have any like lighter reds with shimmer or like that is you know you can have a highlighter that is has a pink sheen to it and stuff like that but I don't think that I have anything with a red tone or do I? Maybe I have but I, I can't remember what. <laughs> I am just going to go in with the brush that I took to my crease and just blend the edges. And I think I like this. Maybe not the fallouts but I'm going to fix that. So okay I will take away the fallouts. I will put on my foundation. But I will not put on any blush. I think I put on foundation, brows and contour. And then we can do blush together. And also lips. And it's going to be so hard to choose a lipstick. Because I got quite a lot of red lipsticks. But I will see which undertone I like. And if I like a dark red or a bright red lip. So I will put on my foundation and my brows. And then I will be back. And we will see where this monochromatic look is going. Okay, so the most part of my base is on. And I don't think I need to be up so up close. Now, yeah, I'm going to do my under eyes as well. For my blush, I... Where did I put it? I have this blush from Sleek that is pretty... Pretty red. It's called Flushed. But... I also have the Infinity Deep palette from Linda Holberg and in that one I have this Marsh. But this feels like too shimmery. But I usually use one blush from the normal Infinity palette or the first Infinity palette as my blush. So I think I want to try to use it. Okay, and fingers crossed that this will work as a blush on me. Okay. I don't... Oh, fuck. 
out. I was just going to say I don't want to take too much because I don't want it. Because it's going to be dark on me and then I had too much on my brush and this f fucking hair. Okay, hair, please just stop annoying me. Okay, I think we have to do it like that. But the one thing, it feels like a blush in real life. It can look so, like, much. But then on camera it's pretty okay. So, I hope that I look somewhat okay. And I was checking through my drawers and I don't have any, like, light shade that I could use as a highlight with a red tint to it. I have looked in my all my palettes and I don't have it. I have like this, I think this is a little pink and that is like the only it's either pink, green or like blue but not the red and maybe this that isn't so strange maybe i just go in with the linda holberg the milky way from um, the infinite palette and maybe i should take a highlighter brush and not an eyeshadow brush eyeshadow brush this we just have to do because i don't have any red highlighter i should have bought that red one from was it make a revolution that had this Halloween collection with a liquid red highlighter that was a skull? I wanted that one. I'd, but I said, I don't know when to use it. But now I know because I would have used it today. For my under eyes, I think I will go in with... So many brushes like everywhere. I will go in with Red Sea from the Tropical Wonders and Saffron from the Flare palette and I will start with the Red Sea and put it on my lower lash I also think that I maybe will go in with the Sauce shade just to deepen it down a little bit and then I go in with Saffron in here and I'm thinking, do I want to take something, like, sheet a little bit and take something not red in my inner corner, but I don't think I will. Maybe I do look a little bit dead, like a zombie or something, when I'm all this red around my eyes, but do you know what? I don't really care because we are going to make it more red. Because I am going to take my Anger Mood crayon from Linda Holberg that is red and put this in my waterline and now we are going to look like we are sick so like that and I am going to put on mascara and spray my face and then I'm going to pick out some lipstick choices but I think I know what I want to do for lipstick for this look but I want to show you the different Lipsticks that I am thinking about. Okay, so setting spray, mascara, and then it's time for lipstick. Okay, so for my lips, I have some choices. And I am actually planning when I'm ha finished with this video that I'm going to do like my top five red lipsticks. And then I just realized that this is like my top five red lipsticks. But I think I know which one I want to go with this. I think I want to take this one. This is Rumors from Nabla. This is like a... Okay, I'm not bad at undertones, but this is like a red with a blue undertone. Other choices I could have made is Rogue Assassin. This is such a nice... This is like red. With also a little more blue. These are pretty similar. I bought this Rumors because I wanted like a dupe for the Rogue Assassin. Or else I think this could have been cool. This is Kid and Heels from 
NYX and this is like a super super bright red and also this Love a Life from Colourpop this is also a super bright red if you wanted if I would want a, like a bright pop in red I would have chosen one of these if I wanted a really dark red I would have chosen Unicorn in the Blood from <laughs> Jeffree Star I've talked about it so much but I actually think I would go with Rumors from Nabla I haven't used this lipstick that much so I don't really remember how it looks but I'm going to put this on and I hope it will suit the eyes. Okay, I think I would have wanted a little bit more warmer red, but this is, it's nothing wrong with this. Like you can never go wrong with a red lipstick. That's just how it is. So this is Rumors by Nabla. And of course I love this look because red is my favorite color both on lips and one of my absolute favorite colors when it comes to eyeshadows and I think I like this look or I don't think I know I like this look and it was fun to do something red I usually don't do like all red but now I did and I like it and what do you think do you like red as much as I do maybe not <laughs> but I I think that more people should use red even if you maybe are afraid that you are going to look sick with red around your eyes, I think it's manageable. And why is this tearing up? <laughs> I think you can do do a complete red look without looking like you got the flu or something like this. That. So it was a fun to use some different colors or some different palettes because all well, is red. I don't know what's up with me. It's like I can't make sentences anymore. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so it was fun to use some different palettes because I usually use one palette for one video because I'm doing maybe first impression or palette bingo or something. So it was fun to do with different palettes. So I used Flare Palette from Ace Beauté, Color Grain, Vivid pigments vivid brights i can never remember the name tropical wonder film certify and kaleidos cyber bronze and no you don't need all this palette to do this look just take the reds that you have at home and do something fun and the lipstick i have to use this rumors more it is a gorgeous red so i really hope you like this monochromatic look i have some more palettes on the way home to me from Colourpop that are monochromatic so I am thinking about maybe doing this seria and do more monochromatic looks but I don't know if I want to use monochromatic palettes to do these looks or if I want to use different palettes what do you think do you want monochromatic looks with the monochromatic palettes from Colourpop or do you want me to do looks like this with different palettes please let me know down in the comments so i will see how i would proceed this so i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i will see you in the next one bye